Hello, Lewis here from Magic Cake Productions. Yes, we are back. We are redone, remastered, revamped to bring you guys out there on YouTube the best vids, commentaries, playthroughs and montages you could hope for. Today, I will be playing Sleeping Dogs to give you guys a bit of an insight on what to expect from the game. So let's get to it. Okay, let's get to some combat. Well, I, what can I say? The combat in Sleeping Dogs feels very good. Um, the counter moves, um, the environmental attacks, which you're about to see. He throws that guy in the first game, allowing for you to take a guy out pretty much instantaneously away from the fight, which obviously evens up your odds against the seven guys that are remaining. Um, there are some pretty powerful moves. As you can see, this uh, little meter in the corner on the uh, minimap screen has activated. That is uh, what you call the, the face meter. Uh, it's an adrenaline bar which allows you to move slightly faster in combat and deal a little bit more damage to your opponents. Um, the big guy just grabbed us. You'll be able to see the button combination coming up. Yep. And I obviously won that button combination and kicked that guy in the face. Oh, we had a bad day. Um, there are different types of enemies in the game. You've got your like big brutes, which is the guy who looks like he's shit his pants, who's walking about with his. Oh, there he's kicked us, that guy there. You've got your brawlers, which do a lot of blocking. It makes it very difficult for you to um, get in at close range and take them out. Uh, that was another variation of the move there. You can actually sprint when you've got a grappled enemy, and you can ram his head into the wall, uh, which is a very, very good. Uh, Thingy. I also have one little problem with the combat, which is when you do block, um, the guy seems to uh, wail in, seem, wail in? I don't know what's his name, I can't remember his name. Um, when you see the block, see the guy's foot is probably about an inch from your face, he will instantaneously spin around, as you saw right there, and he will instantaneously block. Now, that doesn't seem very realistic to me, and I like realism in my games, but it seems... They have done very well with the combat, and that guy's been up and threw him into the ground. Oh, did I? Oh, I dodged it. There we go. I've uh, him. Um, yeah, and that's basically my review on the combat in Sleeping Dogs. I'd probably give it maybe about an, an 8, 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, it feels pretty fluid. Okay, let's get down to some driving. The driving on Sleeping Dogs. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've, I've been driving around for about an hour now and I'm getting to know the controls a little bit better. Let's get onto the highway and let's see what I can do with this car because it is a pretty quick car which I stole and I had to avoid the police to do it. So hope you guys appreciate that I nearly died on this game trying to get a car like this because the police nearly shot my face off. Um, yeah, driving games don't really mix with me that well. I'm not a huge driving uh, enthusiast and I'm not, I'm not really a driving game fan, but the driving in Stephen Dog seems to work very well with the game itself, um, be enabling you to use the hand, hand uh, the uh, handbrake to drift around corners very seam seamlessly, uh, seamlessly, that's the word, that's the word I'm looking for, seamlessly, able to drift around and move in from traffic and dodge in and out. Uh, that little dodge move, this dodge move here, um, is actually meant for ramming vehicles off the road. Uh, which is a very, very nice feature you can do in the car. You can also uh, action hijack, which I'm about to show you now. Well, which I'm not about to show you now because I fucked it up. Um, excuse my French, even though the word fuck isn't actually considered a French word. There you go. Um, and that's, that is called an action hijack. You uh, are able to move from vehicle to vehicle. But the thing is, you can't move from motorbike to motorbike. Uh, you can move from motorbike to car, but not from car to motorbike, which I found a little bit disappointing, but not too disappointing, uh, because obviously you're going to have to have very good aim to jump from uh, a car to a motorbike, but I do enjoy the driving in this game. It is a uh, really, really, well, I would say pushed up my love for driving, so I, yeah, I'd probably give the driving in Sleeping Dogs maybe a... Maybe, uh, a seven. Seven's fair, I would think. Seven's fair. It's good, but because I'm not a driving enthusiast, I, I really don't know what I'm looking for in a driving game, which which is why this uh, little bit of the commentary is a bit vague. Um, so, yeah. 
that was the driving and sleeping dogs. Alright, let's get down to some gunplay. Oh, I'll just disarm him and take his gun and then hide behind his desk. Yeah, the gunplay in Sleeping Dogs does feel pretty good. Um, I like the uh, whole slow motion sliding over. What the hell is this guy? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Alright, let's get back to it. Um, yeah, the gunplay in Sleeping Dogs is really, really rather good. As you can see, you slide over the desks and start shooting people in the face, which extends your bullet time mode, which I call it bullet time because even when everything's slowed down, it, um, oh, that's my phone. Um, get my phone off. Um, there we go. And, yeah, sliding over the desks, slowing down time. It feels really, really, really fluent when you're sliding from desk to desk and popping enemies off. It's really easy to aim in this game because of this is sort of like a lock-on feature. I'll use the reference from Max Payne 3. It's like a soft lock where it softly locks onto the target but it won't aim at like a critical point. So it, um, it, it's really really rather good. Um, I also like the fact that uh, guns are quite rare in this game so you can't like just go and buy a gun or I don't think I might have have gotten that far yet but uh, you can also blind fire as you saw there you can just fire from from cover I'll take this guy out over here and then there we go um, that's, uh, that's pretty good you can uh, also move from cover to cover you have to have to jump over then press the LB button again to get into cover just jump off here and kill these guys there you go get that guy there get that guy oh, oh. get him hit there yep and it does feel pretty fluid with the gun motions in this game. You can seamlessly switch from target to target, allowing you to um, easily take targets down. Moving from cover to cover, as you're going to see here, I'll jump over this desk, looking for me targets. There we go. You can actually shoot through cover, so like that isn't act the, the railings aren't solid as you're about to see. Um, you can shoot through, I think in most games sometimes that will be solid so you can't shoot through it and you think what, what's going on, it's bullshit. It's a small hostage situation here, take him out. Doom it, I thought I killed that, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, the gunplay, sleeping dogs, pretty good. Probably about 8.5, I'd give it, yeah, pretty fluid. Uh, yeah, so I think that's the wrap up for the review on sleeping dogs. If you liked it, uh, like and favourite the video. Uh, comment and... Yeah, thanks guys.